who's on your stretcher? Who's on your stretcher? Turn to somebody and ask them, say, who's on your stretcher? Who's on your stretcher? Who's on your stretcher? This message will not um, be finished today. I just want to start it. Story, chapter 15, beginning at verse 17, tells us about a man that is paralyzed. And his friends take him to the house where Jesus was. I don't know um, the whole life story of this man, but the Bible says that he was paralyzed. Yeah. And when you are paralyzed, there is so much that you can do. Yeah. Do I have a witness in there? Right. And so, um, if we look at what's going on in our nation, I believe that there are a lot of paralyzed people around us. Right. Yeah. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. Yeah. And so, I believe it is the church's job to minister to those that are spiritually paralyzed. Do I have any witnesses in here? There are many people in this place, um, you feel trapped, you feel in prison, you prison by habits, you got many hurts, you got many hang-ups. There are a lot of paralyzed people in this room. You're sitting next to some paralyzed people. Yeah. You're sitting next to some people um, um, that, that, that are hurting. You're sitting next to some people. There are some people around you. Uh, as a matter of fact, you don't know what it took for the person to get to church today. Yeah. You see them dressed up. You see them shouting and praising God. But many people are praising God with one side. Because the other side is paralyzed. I wish I had a witness in this house. Turn to somebody and say, who's on, ask them, who's on the stretcher? Who's on your stretcher? Who's on your stretcher? And so, and so we find in this text that um, there are four men that arrived late. And the Bible says that they are carrying a paralyzed man who's still on his bed. Who's still on his stretcher. Who's still on his cot, he's still on his couch, as the Bible says. And they said that they they realized that it was impossible to get in the house. Because the characters that you have in the story, you, you have Jesus um, and the Lord's healing power, you have you, you 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 have the Pharisees and the teachers of the religious law. Um, they came from all over Galilee and Judea they, um, and from Jerusalem. Then you have the crowd, then you have the paralyzed person, and then you have friends. So the characters of the story is Jesus, the Pharisees, the crowd, the paralyzed person, and his friends. The Bible says that the house was crowded and the power of the Lord was in the house. But the house was so crowded that they could not get the paralyzed person in the house. Have I got a witness in here? They couldn't get him in. Everywhere they turned, they couldn't, they couldn't get him through the window. They couldn't get him through the door. They couldn't get him through the back because the house was crowded and they had this paralyzed man that was hurting. They had this paralyzed man that was disabled. They had this paralyzed man that could not walk. Do I have a witness in here? And all they wanted to do was to get their friend in the house. Paralyzed, 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 paralyzed. We come to church and there are many people that are paralyzed. We live in, 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 in West Oakland. We, we have our church in West Oakland and there are many Whoa! 
in this church are spiritually paralyzed. Yes. Yes. Do I have any witnesses in here? That's why some of y'all can't get to church on Sunday. Because life has beat you up so much. There has been so much hurt. You struggle with so much bitterness and pain and mental struggle. You are paralyzed. And people think you're moving, but in your spirit and in your mind, you are stuck. And sometimes life puts you in a position where you are just hurt, battered, abused, bitter, angry. The reason why they're shooting policemen now is because they are bitter and angry. And the reason why policemen are shooting our black people because they are bitter and anger. Our nation is paralyzed. Do I have any witnesses in here? And so when you look at Luke chapter 5, verse 18, get your Bibles. Bible says that man was carrying the man on his Caught on his couch. Yeah. Bible says that they carried him. Yeah. These 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 were stretcher carriers. There's a difference in religious people and stretcher carriers. Religious people just come to church. Stretcher carriers come to church to get a word to figure out how they can pick somebody up and make a difference in their life. Y'all, 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 y'all don't want to pray. Stretcher people are those that just do it because it's customary. But stretcher carriers are people that do it because they love the Lord. I wish I had a witness in. Religious people are those that just come just because their mama told them to come. And they grew up in church and their daddy told them to come. And they promised their grandmother when they died, I'm going to come to church, big mama. And I got to do this for big mama. And I got to do this for papa. But stretch your carry. I'm going to get willing to sacrifice. They're willing to sacrifice. They're willing to, to go against the odds to pick somebody up that cannot move. Yeah. I want to know how many stretcher carriers do I have in this house. Right. Yeah. Ask somebody, are you a stretcher carrier? Carrier. Are you just or are you just religious? Because when you are stretcher carrier, you are passionate about your work. When you are stretcher carrier, you are passionate about your ministry. When you are a stretcher carrier, you are, you are willing to sacrifice what's in your pocket to be a blessing to somebody else because you know what it is to be broke. I wish I had a witness in here. A stretcher carrier will go to the park and feed the homeless. They don't have to wait for the kitchen of the church to be opened up. They, they'll go to the park. They'll make sandwiches. They'll barbecue. They'll make dinners at home. That's a stretcher carrier. A stretcher carrier won't just talk about the drug addict, but they'll take the drug addict to the rehabilitation center. A stretcher carrier. I wish I had a witness in this house. Ask your neighbor, are you, a, are you religious? in here. And so, so, so there were religious people there but then there were some stretcher carriers. They were passionate about their friend and they want to get them to Jesus. Every person in here needs certain kind of friends. I said everybody in here needs certain kind of friends. You need friends that are caring you need friends that will dream with you. You need friends that will expect. And you need some friends that will take some risks. 
You need some friends that will care. Because stretcher carers will care. Stretcher carers will dream with you. Stretcher carers will expect. And stretcher carers will take some risks. You need some friends that will care. Because those friends that picked the paralyzed man up, they cared enough about him to take him where Jesus was. Right. Because they could have been selfish. Yeah. They could have thought about their own, well, I just need to get in the house. Forget you. I'm not going to carry you. I need to get to the house. Matter of fact, I need to eat. Yeah. Right. Right. I worry about you. And I, I, I need to get to church. I need to get to work. I need to do this. I wish I had a witness in here. 
But not only that, you need some friends that will care. Yeah. This city needs some friends. West Oakland, the Lord Bottoms need a church that will care. Yeah, right. They need a church that will dream with them. All right. They need a church that would expect more than where they are. And they need a church that would, they need some people that will take risks with them. Oh, yeah. 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 Do I have any witness? Yeah. Need some people that will take a risk. Only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. Wow. Do I have any witnesses in here? T.S. Eliot says, only those who risk going too far possibly find out how far one can go. All right. Because these friends that picked up this paralyzed person and took them to the house, they dared to do the devil. They attempted to do something that was unorthodox. They risked the dangerous. And they paid the price for the cost. How about the witness? Because they had this paralyzed man. Time to take it to the verse where they dropped him down the house. They had this paralyzed man. And the Bible says, the other woman, that he's on a stretcher. Yeah. But his friend becomes, his friends become stretcher carriers. And the Bible says that they go to the top of the roof. Right, right. And they take the towel yeah. off the roof right. so that they can drive. 